we want to represent the function f of x equals four divided by the quantity one minus six x as a power series, then compute the first few coefficients of the power series, and then find the radius of convergence. We'll do this by using what we know about an infinite geometric series given here, where an infinite geometric series in this form converges if the absolute value of r is less than one, where r is the common ratio, and the infinite sum is equal to a divided by the quantity one minus r. So because our function f of x resembles the formula for the infinite sum of a geometric series when it converges, if we can identify the value of a and the value of r from the function, then we can write the function as a power series in this form here. So because we have the function f of x equals four, divided by the quantity one minus six x, which matches the form of the formula to find the infinite sum of a geometric series, which is a divided by the quantity one minus r, we can easily identify a and r and then write the power series. Notice how our denominator is exactly in the correct form of one minus a quantity. If there wasn't a one here, we'd have to manipulate the form of the function, but in this case we don't have to. Notice here a is equal to four and r is equal to six x. So if we know a equals four and r is equal to six x, we can easily write the function as a power series in this form here. We would have f of x equals the summation from n equals zero to infinity of a, which we now know is four, times r raised to the power of n, which in our case would be six x raised to the power of n. And now we'll find the first five terms of our power series to find c sub zero through c sub four. So notice when n equals zero, we'd have four times six x to the zero, plus when n is one, we have four times six x to the first, plus when n is two, we have four times six x squared. When n is three, we have four times six x to the third. When n is four, we have four times six x to the fourth, and so on. Notice how this last term would be degree four. The coefficient of this term would be c sub four. So now we'll find each term. This would be four times six to the zero, which is four times one or four, plus four times six x to the first, that's 24 x, plus four times six x squared, that's four times 36 x squared, that's 144 x squared, plus four times six x to the third, that would be 864 x to the third, plus four times six x to the fourth, that would be 5,184 x to the fourth, and so on. So c sub zero, the coefficient of the degree zero term, where the constant term is four, c sub one is 24, c sub two is 144, c sub three is 864, and c sub four is 5,184. And now to find the radius of convergence, remember this infinite geometric series only converges when the absolute value of r is less than one. So in our case, this will only converge when the absolute value of six x is less than one. And since the absolute value of six is six, we can write this as six times the absolute value of x less than one. If we divide both sides by six, the absolute value of x must be less than one sixth which means the radius of convergence would be one-sixth. If we went on to find the interval of convergence, we would solve this for x, where x would have to be less than one-sixth, and x would have to be greater than negative one-sixth. So the interval of convergence would be the open interval from negative one-sixth to positive one-sixth, Notice how this interval is centered at zero and also verifying the radius of convergence is one-sixth. Normally, 
when determining the interval of convergence, we have to test the endpoints. But in this case, when x is equal to negative one six and positive one six, the absolute value of r would be equal to one, and we know the absolute value of r must be less than one to have convergence. But in this case, we are only asked to find the radius of convergence, which is one six. Now before we go, I do want to graph the original function, as well as the first five terms of the power series, to show that it does represent the given function extremely well over the interval of convergence. So we have the original function graphed here in blue, and we have the first five terms of the power series graphed here in red. And notice centered around x equals zero, the red function is an excellent approximation for the blue function. Of course, if we added more and more terms to this polynomial function, it would be a better approximation, and it would still converge to the blue function on the open interval from negative one-sixth to positive one-sixth. I hope you found this helpful.